Some things happen around our world that people in country after country around the world, more and more people are being attracted to leaders who are encouraging us to eat. Uh, where to be a minority of any kind has become more and more dangerous. And when you see somebody who is, and, you know, and we're living in a world where the chances that the person next door to you may not look like you, may not uh, speak like you, may not worship like you, uh, and, and so on. Uh, so how do you respond to this person? So are you curious, friendly, welcoming, or, or are you, um, you know, fearful, resentful, uh, angry? Uh, and we are finding more and more people are getting attracted to leaders. And I'm not really, I'm not facing, the, you know, my body is not about the leaders. It's about how many of us are getting attracted to leaders who are teaching us to hate and to fear. Uh, and in this, in this new India and world that we are creating, which is founded around uh, the politics of hate, and social relations of hate. Uh, again, this song, you know, at some level, it's very simple. Uh, and yet, when you think about it, it is so profound. Uh, let me take you to a place uh, under the sky uh, where there is only fire. Ajita is, 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 is really one of those really beautiful words because it means uh, we are bound to and with each other. So, uh, what does this mean? It means that uh, that if they, as you were talking about, I the king, you know, the chains on your feet uh, are also stealing my freedom. Uh, if you are being lashed on your back, I feel the pain on mine. Uh, if you are suffering, there are tears that come to my eyes. Uh, you know, I, I often think that perhaps the deepest bond that human beings can have between each other is what I call a dalt ka rishta, a relationship of pain, where your pain is, is something that I suffer with, suffer from. And, and my pain is something that you suffer from. That's what binds us together. So I'm, I'm speaking, fighting, struggling uh, my entire life, however imperfectly, uh, for a world that is that is built around one people. That is uh, that where we sh share uh, share what we have, uh, where there's a sense of equal, equal opportunity, equal worth and dignity of human being, a sense of justice for all. All of these. I mean, uh, so so it's odd. At this time, to be uh, to be described for these views, uh, for these beliefs, for these struggles, as a hard line. India, mm -hmm. Baker, uh, who led the writing of our constitution, he said something very profound. He said many things that were profound, but he said that you see, we listed justice, liberty, equality, fraternity as the found foundations of our constitution. But he said that if out of these and something uh, has to be the foundation of the foundation. It has to be fraternity. And why? He says because justice, liberty, equality are possible without fraternity. But you can only have it, it, they are only possible without fraternity with the power of the state behind it. Behind it. But he says if there is fraternity then justice, liberty, and equality become the natural order. See, you don't, one kind of compassion is that uh, I am here, you are here, and you are the recipient of my compassion. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about two equal people meeting. Uh, just that when I meet you, 
at this moment i acknowledge that you have suffered greatly and you are in great pain and loss and so i reach out to you but i acknowledge as i do it that a day can come when i will be suffering and in great loss and you will have you will reach out to me that is egalitarian and we, you know we had a leader who who, who taught us and and the majority of indians supported and followed him uh, i can tell you many more stories uh, but we don't have the time so that is uh, to me my, my you know non violence seems a sort of not something it's actually mm-hmm. something much more than not something it is the capacity uh, to not hate and to love and to uh, you know in 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 the words his last fast you know one of its demands i mean two, two weeks before he, he he was assassinated you know when the refugees had come here in such large numbers in this very city delhi where i'm speaking to you from uh, one of the things that people had done was you know they said no mosques will be allowed no dargahs and they had put hindu idols in all of these and one his last you know fast this was one of the most important demands and that that we must return these places you know we must uh, you know no true place of worship can be built around the hatred of and desecration of another and so with all respect we must return the mosque and the dargahs including in fact the mehruri dargah today yeah. uh, and it was they say that you know even his closest allies like nehru and patel and monar azad said this too much hatred don't do this at this time he said this is the only time i must do it and the first day they said there were 10000 people in his support by the fifth day 100000 people were on the streets supporting his demand and and that is why we still have an india that that i uh, that i can feel the uh, proud to belong to Uh, and, and and that is what non violence is for me